guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. We're really excited today to bring you another Papo review. And it's this guy. It's the Pachyrhinosaurus. Now, this guy, this dinosaur, has been elevated to stardom recently uh, because of the fact that Walking with Dinosaurs 3D, the movie, has just been released over Christmas. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot of focus on this dinosaur at the moment, so um, I think Papo are probably finding that this figurine has become very popular due to its detail. Now, those of you with a keen eye might recognise the body type from the Styracosaurus, and we'll do a comparison later on uh, to show the similarities between the two. And uh, you're definitely right, they have been sculpted off the same body. So, let's start off by getting a closer look at this guy. We always like starting off with the head sculpt on this channel, because usually it's the part that gives you a good indication as to the quality of the rest of the build. And I have to say, it's quite a nice sculpt. I really like the, uh, the frill with the bones protruding out. I think the paint job on this one is a little bit lacking. It feels a bit too general. Um, it doesn't feel like there's a lot of contrast. Um, but then again, they might have gone for more naturalistic sort of browns um, and greys to make it feel uh, more earthy. So it might have been a design choice, but my overall feeling about this paint job is that it feels a little bit dull. Let me know what you think. But uh, I just think some of the other dinosaurs have been a little bit more striking with their colour arrangements. Um, you can see here they've got some nice yellow on the eyes there. And again, I think the paint job on these eyes is lacking compared to some of the other dinosaurs we've seen. Maybe on this side, not so much. I think here it looks a bit more genuine. Uh, but this side here, we've got a little bit of bleeding going on around the eye. And I just feel like the quality control is a little bit worse on this one. We've got nice sculpted lines on the beak here. A lovely sculpted nostril there. Unfortunately, the interior of the mouth is not sculpted. It's kind of hard to see here, but it's just flat inside, um, which is a bit of a shame because usually Papo sculpt the interiors of the mouths. The frill is very, very nicely sculpted. All these lovely scales and lumps and bumps and all these little bone protrusions around here. I love these horns, uh, which obviously Pachyrhinosaurus is known for, these very distinctive horns coming out of the frill. Very nice indeed. And then as we go down the neck, you can see we've got some nice sculpted uh, folds of skin and some veins coming through here. Very nice indeed. And then as we go down to the shoulder, lovely sculpted musculature. Nicely sculpted little toes there with individually painted claws. And again, very nice. Nicely sculpted musculature on the back leg here. Looks good. The underside of the feet, they have been sculpted, but they're not as detailed as maybe they could be. And then as we go down the tail, nicely sculpted ridges going along the top. These aren't as detailed as some of the other dinosaurs we've seen. We've seen some nicer sculpted more crocodilian looking um, plates going along the back, so it's a shame that this just looks very simple. Nice musculature in the tail. And again, here as it joins up with the legs, very nice. Some nice sort of um, feeling of the skin stretching here across the belly. And again, just very nice sort of feeling of um, skin stretching here. I mean, all in all, this is a beautiful sculpt, um, but the coloration again, I think the, the use of browns and greys is a little bit dull and um, not as appealing, maybe, as some of the other dinosaurs in this line. Okay, so take a closer look at that body type. Where have we seen that before? I think it's fairly clear that we've seen that body type in the Styracosaurus. If you look at the front leg and the back legs and compare, um, look at these lines of musculature and also these folds. You can see that actually they've used the same body type. Now obviously there are differences. Uh, at the start of the neck 
it goes up into the head sculpt of the Styracosaurus with the Pachyrhinosaurus, it goes down. So it's obvious that that was their cutoff point for the body. And then also if you look at the tails, the Styracosaurus goes one direction and the Pachyrhinosaurus goes the other. So they've just used the torso uh, for this dinosaur. It's also more stocky than the Styracosaurus. It's got a bit more weight to it. So maybe they used the Styracosaurus body and sculpted directly onto it to create this variation. And that does look probable when you look at these bumps along the back. Maybe they sculpted directly on top. Um, but either way, I do think this Styracosaurus figure, uh, link to that video down below if you haven't seen that one already, I do think this is a more appealing figure. And um, you can really see the difference if I bring on the heads here. So you can have a closer look and just focus on these two. You can see straight away that the Styracosaurus just looks way more appealing. They've used such a lovely combination of complementary colours. Um, and it just the eye looks fantastic whereas if you look at this one I mean the quality does feel like it has slipped somewhat so maybe this variation of the figure they had less time to work on this one um, because it just feels it doesn't have the same appeal um, that this one does okay so size comparison time let's bring in the classic green Papo T-Rex and you can see that the Pachyrhinosaurus comes up to sort of just below the chin of the T-Rex, so this is actually quite a sizable figure. As I was tumbling this guy around, I noticed on the bottom he's got almost like a little clock arrangement. And you can see the arrow points to 1 and it goes all the way around to 12. And uh, I'm assuming that's the addition number of this dinosaur. Okay, so if I bring in the Styracosaurus, he also has one. And uh, as you can see, it's pointing to six in this case. So I'm assuming that's the addition number of each of the dinosaurs. Okay, guys, so that was today's look at the Papo Pachyrhinosaurus. Do you own this one already? Let me know if you do in the comments below. Um, what are your thoughts about the design and the colour scheme? Do you like it? Do you think it could be improved? Let me know what you think anyway. In the meantime, rate and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.